Hey, good afternoon, guys. This is my second video today. Today is Thursday, June 25th. And on this particular video, I used a app called Rondonautic. Randonautic, I think it's called. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it properly. Um, but I was at my location, my home, and I generated a intent um, to speak, to communicate with good spirits, and um, it brought me to this location, which was a mile and a half away from my home, and it ended up being the parking lot of Grotto's Pizzeria at the Wyoming Valley Mall in Wilkesburg. Um, now, as you can probably hear in the background, I got my spirit box radio working, and I did pick up a female spirit. You know, I start off, my all my spirit box sessions, I start off by introducing myself and particularly asking any good spirit to tell me their name so I know how to greet them. And I did hear a female spirit that said, hi. And just a few seconds ago, I heard it say something, but let's try to communicate with that female spirit again. I'm talking to the female spirit that said hi to me. Can you say hi again? I'm looking for that female spirit that said hi. Can you say hi again? I used an app that's called Rondon, Rondonautic or whatsoever. I might not be pronouncing it properly, but I used an app to generate this location. And that particular app looks for areas that generate or has a unusual amount of energy. And this is where it brought me to. So, again, I say, my name is Steven. Can you tell me your name so I know how to greet you? <laughs> I heard you say hi. And I said hello and back. Can you communicate with me? If you use this radio, this radio lets the living and the unliving communicate with each other. Can you say hi again? Are you okay? Are you able to communicate? If you speak clearly and loudly to that radio, it'll let me hear you. Can you say hello to me again? that the app brought me to a parking lot in the mall. Um, this is like the second time that I used that app. And believe it or not, this is the second time it took me to the mall, but the first time was on the other side of this mall in front of the Best Buy um, department store. And um, I don't know, there must be... Um... There you go, I hear something again. I hear you hear, I, I kind of hear you. You are a female, so I kind of hear that female voice. Can you tell me your name? My name is Steven. What is your name? I hear other voices in the background. Are they deterring you from communicating with me? So again, I say, I find it unusual that that particular app 
the second time I use it, it, it sends me to this. I mean, the Wyoming Valley Mall is pretty big. It's like um, a few big, uh, a few um, football fields big. But um, there must be some kind of unusual energy over here. I mean, I, I, I'm not really all that familiar with that particular app, but from what I understand, that app will pick out certain areas that has peculiar, gen oh, I forget what it is, so, uh, has a, an enormous amount of energy or something like that. Maybe I'm understanding it wrong. But um, this is the second time that it brings me to the Wyoming Valley Mall. This time is Grotto's Pizza, but the first time was Best Buy. So there must be an unusual amount of energy coming out of here. I could imagine so. I mean, the mall is somewhat in a, a place where thousands of people visit every day. I mean, lately maybe not because of the pandemic or whatsoever. But it's still in a, a place where thousands of people come and visit, spend money or whatever, and their energy must must generate energy. But again, my intent was to speak, to communicate with a good spirit. And um, like I said, my first, my first communication was high from a female. So I'm trying to figure out if that female is able to communicate with me. Can you say hi again? Are you able to communicate with me? Can you try again? I could probably imagine that it takes a lot of energy to communicate with the living. But again, I say this radio is meant for a communication device between the living and the unliving. So if you speak clearly to the radio, it'll let me, um, it'll let me hear you. My name is Steven. What is your name? Can you tell me your name? I hear other voices on this radio, too, so uh, I'm not, um, I don't know. My, I have different thoughts about, you know, uh, when you hear spirits, are they able, I mean, are they allowed to communicate with the living? I mean, I have an SLS camera, which um, picks up spirits, and, and it'll turn them into a stick form. And I've caught two in my house, and I've noticed that once they realize that you can see them, they kind of make it a point of disappearing where, like, so what I'm trying to get at is, in my opinion, could it be that there's some kind of, like, they're not supposed to let themselves be seen or heard by the living? That maybe a, I don't know. I, I really don't know, but I, <laughs> all these thoughts go through my head. You know, from what I understand, I don't know. From the thoughts that I gather, is that we're like in a like a, a second dimension or parallel dimension with another, on another like another world as this. And when you pass away, you go to that dimension. But that's why I try to communicate because I want to know a little more about what happens when you pass away, you know, so this way when my time comes, I have a better idea of what to expect. So, you know, some people ask me, why you keep playing around? You know, you're going you're gonna to get something bad that attaches itself to you. And I say a prayer before and after I play around with this radio. And again, it's my way of trying to figure out what's on the other side. Are there any good spirits in this parking lot here that can hear me? There you go. I hear that same female voice. I hear you. Barely I could hear you. Can you tell me your name? My name is Steven. Can you tell me your name? Are you talking to me or are you talking to someone else? If you use 
use this radio, if you speak clearly and loudly to this radio, to let me hear you. Tell me your name. Well, I'm gonna, I've been here for like a half hour now. I'm going to call it a night, but I thought I could get something in. And I'll try that app tomorrow because it's getting late now. Um, it's like 11.30 now, but um, I'm going to get out of here before the Wooksburg Township Police come by and see me here. And the next thing you know, they start harassing me. What the hell am I doing here? But I'm going to call it a night. And... Um, I thought I'd bring you guys, I thought maybe you guys would hear something spectacular like I, you know, together with me. All right, guys, have a good night. Talk to you guys again.